Griffin Pittman, Coach Hill, thank you for Yeah, congratulations to Montevallo. Uh, great team, great program. Uh, Coach Young does a great job. So uh, they, they've got a very good chance to win this thing. As as all the teams do, they're still playing. We felt that way coming into the weekend. And uh, they, were, they were a little bit better. We battled pretty well in the back boards, but uh, they had some flurries offensively where we didn't get stops when we needed them. But uh, give them credit. Questions? Did you kind of see this uh, shaping out as a game of runs coming into it, or is that just kind of how it? How it Maybe not quite those big, that big of runs both ways. And, uh, and I think um, you know there's talented players on both sides, so you know, I think the players you know make big plays, and they made a few more than we did. Um, I, I think our guys' effort was really good. Um, at times we had some breakdowns defensively, but I think as a staff we you know looking looking ahead. To next year, we've got to do a little bit better job, you know, with our preparation, getting our guys ready to go. But I want to congratulate our four seniors uh, for what they've accomplished over a two-year period. They've, you know, won more games uh, since we've been in Division II ranks uh, and set all kinds of new standards for this program in terms of conference wins. You know, first time last year in the NCAA tournament. So I'm hoping that it hurts right now, but I hope that they can look back and really feel proud of what they accomplished. Kind of foundation they set for these these young guys moving forward. Griffin did making a couple shots early kind of get your momentum going. It seemed like you really looked for your shot a lot, especially in that open run. Yeah, um, uh, coach told me all year to just be aggressive and just to play basketball and hitting a couple early shots really. It really made me feel good out there. I feel like I can compete with these guys and get my team going. So, yeah, hitting. The, Hitting on the shots really build my confidence level up. Uh, Coach, talk a little bit about, you kind of touched on the seniors, but then talk about them again. Uh, do you say anything to them in the locker room in particular? Uh, you know, obviously saw them come off. They kind of talked to each other for a moment. I think kind of sank in. Do you have anything, uh, anything you said to them? You know, we, we spoke to them as a group and then individually and just seeing them grow as young men. Um, you know, they're all going to be very successful. A few of them may have an opportunity to continue playing basketball, but uh, just having a chance to see them over these last four years grow up and uh, become, you know, a really tough, strong basketball team. You know, when, when they, those guys got here, I mean, our first year we won six games. You know, so they've really changed the face of this program. And when when we do have an opportunity to cut down some nets, we're going to save every one of those guys a piece because they're all, whatever success we have moving forward, they're all a huge part of it. What about uh, the, the run there in the first half and they uh, answered with their own run? Was that something that uh, you know you guys were seeing coming forward or were you looking more towards a back and forth game like that second half? <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard. You go into a game, you know, and it, it, you never try to anticipate or try to predict how things are going to go. and then, you know, you try to make adjustments over the course of the game, and there were some things we adjusted to pretty well, and some other things we didn't. Um, but our our effort was good. Execution at times at, at both ends wasn't wasn't good enough to win the game. But you also got to give them credit because you know they practice and prepare, and uh, they've had a great season. So uh, they're a very capable team of going on and um, doing some things here down the stretch. Go back, um, going back to the seniors for a second. I mean, for you as a freshman coming in, uh, what has it been like to have those guys as leadership, and then you know, going on next year? Uh, the seniors they really taught me a lot about uh, hard work. Uh, when I first came in, my first visit, I remember going out to dinner with Nate, and uh, he was loose, but he told me, you know, it's, it's really tough work in the Peach Belt, and that uh, I was stepping into a program where a lot of work was required, and it was fine with me. They, they just really installed the work ethic and uh, listen to coach because his methods work for a team with six wins in the Peach Belt to I think 11 this year. So uh, I just took work from them and just to keep going down down the line and like coach said, give them nets whenever we cut them down. I, I think we had like three Peach Belt wins that first year. <laughs> but anyway, we, we've definitely made some progress as a program. You know, we're disappointed because, you know, we wanted to uh, do more this year. Um, and you know, there's going probably going to be one team in the whole country that's uh, that wins that very last game, um, and so that's part of college basketball, part of the process. And looking back at the big picture, as 
much as it hurts now, those seniors are going to look back and uh, we're going to make sure they're proud of what they've accomplished for, for our university. Anything special for you as that's your first senior class coach at Denver? Anything? It's hard. I mean, you know, you, you look in there and say, you know, I'm, I was counting on having a chance to go to practice with them next week. Uh, I'm going to miss them. Uh, I'm going to miss their goofiness on the bus and, you know, uh, just seeing, you know, some of those guys babysit my kids. Um, you know, you become a family. And, uh, you know, my, my kids, my wife's going to miss them. But, um, you know, we'll stay in touch as we do with all our players. And um, they're, they're, they're a part of this program forever. You know, we had a reunion a couple weeks ago, former players coming back that played here 20 years, uh, more than that. First group to go to the uh, national tournament when they were still in NAI seeing the closeness that those guys have. Billy uh, Lee's bunch. <laughs> What's that? Billy Lee's bunch. That's right. <laughs> so it's going back a few years, but you look at modern history of this program, that group of guys is part of the most successful two-year run um, in the last 20-some 20, 20 years. Questions? And most importantly, that they're all on track to get their degrees. So they're going to have a uh, opportunity beyond basketball to be very successful. All right, guys, thank you very much.